Hello, Sandy here again. Um, today we're going to be working on this 20 ounce dual sport tumbler. It's been sanded and painted and as you can see I have kind of two-toned it. Um, I, I needed this front part here to be a little bit lighter to get our embellishment to show up and the back of it as you can see it's speckled and I did that on purpose I did that by just barely pushing down the spray nozzle on my uh, can of paint and I kind of like the way that looks just enough to accent it so I don't know what I've gotten there oh, it might just be an extra dot um, Anyway, this was uh, Hunter Green, and the lighter was Joshua Tree, if you're wondering. And I kind of gave myself a little bit of space on each side of it, and you'll, you'll see what I'm going to do. We're using Mod Podge, and it doesn't matter what kind of Mod Podge you use. You're going to need quite a bit of it. So I've poured it into one of my toss away lids so I don't have to clean it and I've got a smaller paintbrush normally we would just kind of slather everything on but for this I, I need to get the surface on but then I need to be able to do um, smaller bits of it so all of that being said um, Many of you know New York State has now legalized the recreational use of marijuana. Um, and I have been fortunate enough to be able to find, and I did find this, um, a book that had actual leaves that were dried in there. Now, this book has been drying since, or these leaves have been drying since 2014. So there's been a lot of drying time. And I just wanted to show you the one that we're going to use is this. And it's going to cover a great deal of this front surface. Now it's very delicate. I don't want to pretend like it isn't because it certainly is. Um, and you have to kind of finesse it. I've done a couple of other things with it, with these leaves. And there's a whole bunch of different colors and and uh, types there's some that only have five leaves on them um, and they're all different sizes so we're going to start by getting some Mod Podge down onto this cup and I'm just going to set our leaf aside now you know this I know it's very controversial and I don't pretend to want to get into any of that um, I know that there is interest. Uh, I've done another tumbler that I deemed a festival tumbler. And if you look that up on my channel, you can, you can see how I did that one. And that one was done with parsley. It was not done with an actual leaf from the plant. Um, and it came out good and there's been there's been a lot of interest in that so that being said we figure let's let's address what the interest is so I'm just going on ahead and putting the Mod Podge on here thick 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 when I did uh, another tumbler that I had done with um, uh, with a nebula. It took quite a bit of this Mod Podge to, to get it down there. And I just want to make sure I've got this semi-straight here. Um, it took quite a bit of Mod Podge to lay it down because it's already very dry but it starts to soften up a little bit as you put it on the Mod Podge. And you'll see that as we go along here. 
Now I've, I've just kind of drawn it out and I'm sure that I have missed spots where it's going to need the extra, but we're just going to roll with it and see how we do. I've cut the stem at the bottom quite a bit. so that we don't have that hanging off and, and I don't have to fuss around too much with the actual leaf. And, oops, like I said, they are delicate because they are dry. And I just want to set that on there. I want my center one set first. And I can see that I need Mod Podge over here and as, as I said when it gets on there it starts to soften so you can kind of reach up in there and tuck some more and this one overlaps so I want there to be Mod Podge into this section here that was the way it dried, that's the way I want to keep it. There. You can see it needs some right here. And those of you that do partake are probably screaming, no, but this is not, this is not usable for anything other than art. You know, just as, as an explanation for you. Um, the other, I did a, a, a smoke tray or a rolling tray or whatever you call them, and I did a leaf on that, and that took a lot as well, and that was flat. So, you know, we're We're going to be playing and finessing this as we go along. Like I said, my point is to get it down here and adhered as best as possible. And I know I'm, I'm kind of working away from you. want to pull out any bubbles without putting too much strain on the leaves. And I will clean this up some as we go. All right, now that leaf wants to kind of lay well, let's see if we can get it to, to go in the direction we want it. There. That seems to have done it. Okay. And now we shall start working over this way. And I know that this one is overlapping, so I want to make sure I have... Mod Podge on top of this leaf, and I'm sorry if my hand's in the way. I probably can move this around a little bit so that I'm working from this side. How's that sound? Look at me being accommodating and all that crap. Okay, this, oops, see, I got a little bit of the leaf there. I don't think it's going to matter. Let me get a paper towel. I don't see where it broke but I see it on my paintbrush. So once again, you know, we want to be careful. If you're fortunate enough to have some that have dried somewhere for you to try this, then cool, awesome. I'm, you know, I was just looking for a way to use these that 
And, and these are starting to, to, to try to curl up like I told you they would. The ones that I've already tacked down. So we're just gonna go over it several times to try to get it to lay down completely without destroying our leaves. doesn't want to lay down yet it's not I don't think it's wet enough on the leaf now when I did my uh, festival tumbler I didn't want my parsley to be completely soaked so I used the tack it method to put it down and I didn't wait for it to get tacky I smooched it on and I poured on my parsley. Uh, this is a different story. Now I'm going to have to lift this up because I don't want to roll it over on itself onto the leaves over here. I'm going to try to lift it without disturbing it. There we go. And then I want to do that. Well, this will at least allow me to push that bubble, that air bubble out.
Okay, it's been a day or so since this was applied. And you can see that it, it stuck down pretty well. Um, I'm going to go over it again with some more Mod Podge just to hopefully get a little more even coat. I'm hoping that these gloppy spots here aren't going to show through and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get enough Mod Podge on there to do that. Um, everything looks like it's stuck down pretty darn well. And I did have to uh, go through and kind of roll my finger a little bit on some of the parts to get out extra bubbles. But the funny thing is that the edges of this were so well sealed that the bubbles didn't want to come out that way. I had to roll them down toward the stem. So if anything is not stuck, it's going to be down there. So we're just going to go ahead and give this another coat. I've got my... My Mod Podge over here. Let me get my myself situated here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just slather this on in this area. It's been a couple of hours and this is good and dry so we're going to go ahead and put our first coat of resin on here. I'm going to put a fairly good coat on here. I've already mixed my resin. This is, which one is it? This one is the Pro Marine. and depending on what I'm doing depends on which resin I use. Um, this one is about a medium viscosity, so if as long as this covers well enough, then I won't have to use the KS resin. I like the KS resin for um, like chunky glitters and whatnot. It really does give you good coverage over top of that. Just wiping off with my baby wipe here. And I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Okay, so this is what we're going to put on the back of it. And I have this in three different pieces just because it'll be easier for me to put onto the, the tapered cup. But it says blunt, that's how I roll. And that'll go on to this back side here. So when this is done doing its magic, if I have a clear enough spot, then I will be putting those on. I probably won't do them on camera, 
I'll have to think about it. And uh, we'll see where this ends up. I may have to put another coat of uh, resin on this before I even put those on. So we'll see. But Oh, another point I wanted to make is that... Um, oopsie, poopsie. This wants to pull apart now. This blunt, I did this offset. And I did it with the new... Uh, button that's on our Cricut design space. I was able to do the offset with that Really really liking that so Yeah, I think it came out pretty cool All right folks We'll be back in a bit for me. It'll probably be a Day for you. It'll be in a couple of minutes Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, this has been setting, oh, probably two days. And I want to show you something that happens, I guess, every now and then. I've seen a lot of other people say how it has happened to them. And I've, and I've encountered it when I was standing in the location of my tumbler. This time, it didn't happen for a good long time after this had been turning on the turner. But I want you to to see, and I'm going to I'm going to do a close up here as best I can without making you sick. Do you see that? Those bubbles. That was all bubbled up, and it didn't happen for. Oh my gosh, it had to have been at least an hour and a half because I check on my tumbler or on my, yeah, my tumblers probably every 25 minutes to make sure that, you know, if there's anything that needs to have the, the heat gun that I blast at. Well, this, I don't know, it snuck up on me and I am not happy about that. But anyway, it almost looks like there might not even, it might not have even sealed in that spot. And that's right where that seam is on the bottom of this tumbler. So we're going to see if we can't fix that today. And I certainly hope we can. Otherwise, this is a wasted tumbler or it's going to go for a very reduced price. I want you to see another spot. All of this was fine. This all was sealed in really good. One little tiny spot right here. Can you, oops. Yeah, as I'm talking, I'm not really showing you very well. Let me see if I can get this to come back around. Well, you're going to see. I did put the uh, the wording on here, the, the vinyl. I want you to, darn you, darn you. Well, I guess we're just going to watch this thing spin around until I can get it to where you can see it. Okay, I don't want it blaring into the uh, in the light. But there's a spot right there. Teeny tiny little air bubble came through there. So, yeah, that's one of the one of the hazards of uh, sealing things off. If they're not sealed well enough, and I thought they were, that's what we wound up with. But, anyway, I've got some resin already mixed up here. Um, I think it's about 15 milliliters of my Promarine. And it's been sitting for a couple of minutes, because I put the decal on as, as that was sitting. I'm going to go ahead and smather this on again. And hope that everything comes out well. I don't normally come back to show you a second coat of resin. But I felt like this was going to be necessary for you to see. So, we're going to wish us all luck. Because I was devastated. It's not like you can buy these leaves at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or order them on Amazon. So, you know, this not being 
a case where, well, you know, you can just strip it and redo it. I can, but it means that I have really wasted something that I can't get a lot of. I'm just cleaning off my my stir stick here. I don't know if any of you noticed. This little paddle is amazing. I have gotten so I I love that I can just turn it around in my fingers and it doesn't make a ton of bubbles in my resin. So I got it with uh, uh, I don't know some resin kit that I had ordered. Okay. Now, we're going to hope for the best, but I want to start with right where that issue is and see if we're not going to be able to fill that in and make it non-noticeable. Because I, yeah, I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. I hope so. But I'm going to concentrate I'm getting it down in there as best I can. I mean, I have cleaned that thing out. Same thing right there. But I'm not going to... Ugh. Not sure how I'm going to get that in there. I've never run into this big of an issue before. The one that's by the leaf is not as big a problem for me, but yeah, you can see that already. That already camouflaged itself. But this needs to get down in there, and I'm not really sure. I'm going to, yeah, you're going to take this wild ride with me because we need to know. I am going to clean off my glove here. I'm going to use this uh, spatula, what do you call it, silicone squeegee, and see if I can't force the resin down in there. I, If I went any further, I would have dug into the paint. That's how much bubbling there was there. And I'm really starting to steer myself more toward ordering tumblers that don't have this seam. Well, it kind of looks like maybe we might have camouflaged that. It seems to, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I panicked because I've never had that big of an issue before. But it looks like it looks like maybe we did it. Yay! Silicone spatula. I think I just had to force it down in there. Now hopefully I won't see bubbles coming up from that again. But if I do, there's gonna be trouble. Because I will not be a happy camper. Okay. Alright, I'm not even gonna fuss with that now. I'm gonna leave that alone as much as possible because I want that. I mean, if I have to sand it down because it's built up there, so be it. I don't care. I just was not a fan of the fact that that happened. That to say I was pissed is, a, is an understatement. Okay, I just want to get this bottom. All set. Because the leaf itself really did really great as far as covering and staying covered and not, you know, there's, I, there's little pokey bits, but I knew there was going to be, but I don't think it's going to be enough to even have to, uh, try to sand down after this coat in that area. So, this is supposed to be a happy cup. So, enough said.
Yeah, I see bubbles that still want to come up here. We'll address it as we go. All right, let's get this on here. And I, I don't know if I said it, but I think there's about 15 milliliters of epoxy here. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do another coat, but that's okay. Like I said, I know I'm going to have to do another um, coat of resin on this, and that's okay. That's not an issue for me. Okay. Let that baby roll. And I think we're good. I'm going to drizzle this on here, the rest of this, and we're going to let it spin out deal with what we have to deal with. Can I get out of there again? And I, when I warm this up, then of course it'll level itself all out again. Whoops, went right over the edge there. Just doing this to hopefully coat that, that ridge on the bottom. I'll have to smooth that out a little bit though. I'm not gonna just leave that sitting there like that. Because the edges will always repel unless they're tended to, I'm going to say that. If all is well, when we come back, you'll see it completely finished because I won't show you putting on the last coat. So, thanks for hanging in there with me, and we'll be back shortly. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you got anything out of this tutorial, I would appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and comment. Until the next time, enjoy your 420 and toodles.